Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of crazy weeks in my life. I performed at a bar mitzvah with Travis Scott. Did you really? <laughs> for, you know, got paid two thousand dollars. I've gotten you guys drafted and been in the dream room. Is it nothing compares to this weekend? This was the craziest this was day. Probably the best weekend. Craziest weekend. I, it's surreal. It's nothing I've ever. I've experienced some crazy shit. Nothing's like that. Yeah. How are you feeling about the weekend? What are you most excited about? Uh, just the Danny Chronicles, I would say. So we're out here at. 6.26 a.m. in the Philly airport, getting ready to fly to Salt Lake City for All-Star Weekend. Gonna have a great trip. Excited to take y'all along for the ride. Let's go. Oh and thank you for flying with Delta. They're with me. Awesome. Um, Mac. Mac McClung. McClung. Yeah. Awesome. So this is Mac McClung. We are literally printing everyone's room keys right okay, now. Cool. Awesome. I'm going to grab your folder. If you want, like, guys, relax. Okay, okay. you're all set. I appreciate you. Thank no you. No problem. Like, with your chain, kind of just, like, mess with it. Maybe look down, look off to the side a little bit. Does the pearl with the other chain look crazy? Right? I don't know. <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> <normal? It's> not, <laughs> I, I was like, is that what you wear? <laughs> Dap each other up. Sir. <laughs> Do the handshake. You know the handshake? Yes, sir. Ooh, look at that. The alleyways are good because the lights will be bouncing off. Like your foot up or something. Or like... Okay, that's probably good for uh... Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. All right. So I'm just running around everywhere pretty much, but it's it's a blessing for sure. You talked about the uh, the kind of the pride of the G League. You know, you made that decision, that clear decision, really to to stay with the G League. Uh, obviously, now it, it appears to have paid off. Tell tell me about you know making that decision, weighing the pros and cons, and the, the thought process behind that decision. You know, it's tough because um, I don't think it's a, a wrong thing to do to go overseas, and you can still make the NBA. Um, I think, you know, just personally for me, uh, I felt like it was the closest way back to the NBA was the G League and, you know, really grateful for the people around me who supported that decision and, you know, my agent, he took a big pay cut and, you know, I could have maybe changed my family's life with a certain amount of money, but it's never really been about that with me and my family, so I'm super grateful to have that. Okay, what? Hey. Hey. That's the red one tomorrow. That's the red one. It is the one tomorrow. That's crazy. Which one do you like better, the blue or the red? Yeah. Shout out to Pooja. So I'm facing like right here, like. I like that guy. <laughs> and can you tell me about your hoodie that you have on today? I mean, I don't have much going on today, but this is a Harry Styles hoodie. Um, it's about one of his songs, but yeah, I'm a big Harry Styles fan. Harry Styles did. Have you met Harry? I haven't. Have you been to a Harry Styles concert? I haven't, sadly. Yeah. Should we tag Harry Styles in this clip from the NBA account? to get you to a concert? Most definitely. Okay, yeah, let's sure. do it. No, I appreciate it. You've been great, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. 
content circuit done with. That was dope. It's pretty cool. It's a grind. People don't see the behind the scenes of NBA life. And that's what we kind of want to show you guys. So, yeah. and, uh, saying like how blessed we are to be here like look around soak it all in like we're 22 years old who would have thought we'd be on courtside at the NBA dunk contest right and with a great friend of ours who's been so gracious to have us behind the scenes with him so uh, well coming from a dunker like myself man uh, you know I've been watching you since ball is life days you know who mixtape type stuff uh, how does it feel and like when did you want to become a dunker like when did it all come to you Really from the jump, man. Yeah. Like, literally, like I said, I've been doing that for so long, so I already knew that. Should we run that back? I mean, Mark Jr. That was perfect. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it, man. Junior, so Thank you, brother. Yeah. I'll right, see you in that nice contest. Good luck, yeah, brother. Yes, sir. Thank yeah, you, yeah. man. Now, gang, hold it down, man. Y'all stay up on the streets, all right? Let's do it. Let's do it. New fit. Thanks, man. Let's do it. Let's do it with y'all boys. How y'all, yeah, baby? You good? Chilling, yes, sir. Danny Cooper, Shane Phil. Yes, sir. Thanks, <laughs> man. You had to get that. <laughs> you got it? Truthfully. Yeah, thank you. That's why you got to rub the brand everywhere you go, baby, so people yeah, yeah. will know the name. He's a lot. Yeah. One of our players is here at the AT&T booth. I was supposed to bring these guys in. Is that okay? Yeah. Have them come through here? Okay. Finally got in. Our boy Dan came through, got us a little VIP pass. Where we at right now? AT&T Dunk Champion Pictures, man. Like, what do you have in store for us for the rest of the weekend? Shoot, like, uh, you mean all like, thank, thank you, you brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Man, that was awesome again. I'm loving seeing the plum get going, though. Team Jason Terry starting to make it a game because people think he's just a dunker. Like, you don't want to be just labeled in a box, but the way he's getting around, what's he doing here? What you got? Oh, hey. Look, five straight points at a dime. I'm loving it. Going the other way. McClung, Mobley. Ooh, okay. Nifty. Goodness. Get busy. Get busy. I saw Ask Trey Murphy. He has something to say about that. I hope it's 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 exciting. There he is. Come with there he is. What's good, everybody? Get myself some basketball drip over at my favorite brand, Hoop Culture. They have amazing shorts, shirts, backpacks. They even do team uniforms. So if you got an AAU team out there, go check them out. Use code DCOOP10 at checkout for 10% off. Back to the video. How are we feeling today, boy? It's around noon on the day of the dunk contest. Day of the dunk contest. We're excited, man. We're a bunch of meetings, bunch of meet and greets, but you know, keep the main thing the main thing. Hopefully, by the time you see this, we put on a show tonight, and it was a great, it was a great time. How are we feeling today, day of the dunk contest? Man, we feel good. We feel confident, man. I <laughs> come out here and shut this place down. Salt Lake City with my boy. <laughs> Yo, it's funny how like the guy who's not dunking is the most confident. He's like, we got this. Like, I love it, bro. I think it's cool though. Like, you guys have kind of been through this journey. I think it's for so long. Like, talk about that a little bit. I think it's cool. We're all here. I mean, um, it's like, you know, we we kind of always been the underdog, and we still are. But like, you know, from the small town and everything. But like tonight, all the tension is gonna be on the four dunkers and us, the kids from Gate City and you, and you guys are a part of this. And like, it's uh, it's special that like we all are here right now, you know what I mean? And just want to make the most of it. Yeah, man, it's crazy. We used to talk about this in high school, being in a dunk contest. This is when we first started dunking, sophomore, freshman year. But yeah, you know, we always dreamed about it. You know, you almost just speak it into existence. 
manifestation, man. It's gonna be a lot of fun tonight. I know it's like whatever, but still loose. Well, I'm gonna be good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, it's all fun, man. That's what I'm looking at. It's just gonna be a good time. Oh, no, I'm with you. Like, you know, I want it to be a show, man. I want it to be a show, man. I want it to be a I'm really happy my brother's in the dunk contest. And I'm really excited and I'm happy he's in it. And yeah, I hope him the best. My man! I feel like I know you already. Nice to meet you. Oh, 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 get in there, dude! Ah! Three, 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 there's going to be some creativity. Um, watching the slow-mo replay will be important, but um, that's all I can do. Just do right here. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do you say? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thank you all. Oh, this is for me? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Test right now, I'm leaving the hotel. How are we feeling? Feel good, man. Man, there. How you guys doing? Thank you, man. like just dunking like it's like you know it's all been games now it's like you're really just going out there to dunk <laughs> How many dunks did you in the ball's life dunk contest? Other guys that dunk contest? Iverson, Iverson won. And I was in one in high school. I did terrible in one high school. And I did like the one at Bryan College. I like shut it down. But so it's not like the one at Army's Classic. <laughs> <laughs> you got some shit. I hope so. What you thinking for the dunk contest? You got any it's all secrets or? Some cool ideas. You got a dunk contest for this. Kevin Martin Jr., bro. Duh. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Look at him. Look at him. He's balanced. He's balanced. Oh. Lay down. Oh, my God. Nice. Why are you trying to get the bag? Turn around. All that build up tension. Feels like it's gone. Little peanut butter and jelly. So we are backstage right now. Max is about to get announced for the dunk contest. How we feeling? A little nervous, man. And I believe I'm here, but uh, it's a blessing. And uh, hope the boy shows out and brings that trophy home. Got some butterflies, but we're gonna get that trophy. Let's go. He's been going viral for his jaw-dropping in-game dunk since high school. The newest Philadelphia 76er, Mac McClung. Who are these two guys that is coming out here? Yeah, McClung is the first G League player ever to participate in the sl oh, slam dunk competition. No, no. He was signed this week by the 76ers to a two-way contract. On Congratulations, Tuesday. brother. Congratulations. I'm worried about the guy holding the other guy. Some boy, he gonna go down. Oh, that's a 50. That's a 50. That's a 50. Yeah, Jamal. Jamal knows what it is. Jamal knows what it is. Shut it down. I gotta see if he hit the backboard. That's a 50 the smiles. Backboard. Well, I gotta see it in slow motion. I'm not refereeing the basketball. Man, if he hit the glass, come on, there he he that's crazy. He hit the glass. <laughs> he but it was very glass. It was very that's clear that he saying. did. He gotta hit the my, my, not for my angle. Oh, not that's for my crazy. Angle. Oh, come on, kid. Not for my angle. Hit, hit, tight. Look, 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 look. 50. 50. Wow. Yeah. See how everyone's standing, including us. 
Patrick Williams. I have one thing to say. Welcome to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the NBA. Oh, look at the numbers. Oh, look, look at the, the numbers. Look really? At this, look, wow. Listen, what? Wow. Oh. Hey. Nice. Hey. Hey. He's consistent. Here comes McClung. Oh, hey. That's called a hezzy dunk. So you hezzy in the air. Yeah, yeah, that's a ooh. And that might be an ah, too. The way, he, the, the way he's won you over, Kenny, is admirable. Ooh, look at his head. <laughs> ooh, wow. Ooh, yeah, yes. mama. 50. He got it. He got it. That's it. Yep. He got yeah, it. Those are 50. Got to be right before Max final dunk. Got to win this boy. Oh, so Wait, cool. he's got a prop here, guys. Everyone. He's got a prop here. High school jersey. Yeah. High school. High school <laughs> jersey. This is the high school that he played for. Okay, they broke the Iverson and the JJ Reddick. Records in the state of Virginia. Here he goes. And he putting on the handle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is that? It's just the. Oh, it's. Oh, look, I'll scroll down. That's wild. They keep going too. <laughs> it's still going. Good thing you got the Google Pixel now. <laughs> oh my god. 845 messages. No way. God, that 540 was crazy. I was telling them uh, Cam was on my mind. Like, after, I saw a video of you before the thank you, thank you. contest, and it just like it gave me a lot of inspiration. Gave you a lot. Gave you a lot of inspiration. Oh yes, sir. I'm really happy my brother's in the dunk contest, and I'm really excited, and I'm happy he's in it. And yeah, I hope I'm the best. You really want me to win? You're in my mind. I got a video. Idea what this moment's gonna do for you. I don't think I do yet. Um, I'm really, it's all been a blur. It felt like it was just like 30 seconds we were out there and now we're here, but um, no, I haven't been around my phone or anything, but um, I'm super happy. I was gonna tell him this is this is for my little brother Cam, so uh, he gave me a lot of inspiration for the contest. Cam, okay, what'd you think of your brother, man? <laughs> <laughs> we got speechless. That's about what everyone else said, man. After the first dunk, I knew it was going to be over. That was too easy. Oh, what a crazy night, man. Got a weird feeling in my stomach. Price just went up. Price, we got to stay humble. You know, Mac, Mac made it here by being humble. No, no reason to change up now. He's still an underdog. It was an amazing night, but he's still an underdog. Got to keep that mentality. Just want to give a big shout out to everybody who helped me out with all this. Got my agent, my fam, my boys. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. Come here. Thank you very much. It's too nappy. Oh my god. You guys have a good one. Body is us. <laughs> what the f bro? You're the first sixer ever. Damn. I thought, oh, I, I didn't know that. They just that. named it after like, Dr. J. They said Dr. J. I was like, well, Dr. J won it, you know. Did he not win with the sixers? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I think you were the first ever winner. the first ever sixer. And win. they just named it after him, too. We the champ, baby. Champs, man. Let's go. What the hell?
you can tell. So ladies and gents, the moment has just arrived. The reigning, defended, roast and the champion, Mac McCum has just pulled up in the building. Give it up. Let's get it high. I told you Mac was gonna win. You did, you did. You did say that, you did say that, you did say that. You did, you called it out. You got a dumb contest prediction for us. Kevin Martin Jr., bro. Duh. Yeah. Y'all for Matt. That's my boy, man. Huh? It's our boy. It's my boy. It's our boy. Oh, it is. We yeah. all got him, man. Last night, he stole the show and took us all to new heights. Please welcome Mac McClung. What's up, everybody? I'll never forget my first All Star weekend. I don't know the next one. And I gotta say, nobody. Oh, yeah, I got, I got, I got. What's up, everybody? I'll never forget my first All Star weekend. And I gotta say, nobody does it like Salt Lake City. One moment, you're receiving the trophy from Dr. J, and the next, you're introducing a rock star. Everybody give it up for Post Malone. Post, Post. Malone! <laughs> now, because you're gonna slam Dr. Champion, you're not gonna thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. Out here at the All-Star Game, being escorted to our seats right now. It's pretty dope. Max doing a speech for Post Malone right before. He's a four-time key MVP, a valuable player, a four-time You never forget your first All-Star Weekend, and I gotta say, nobody does it like Salt Lake City. From receiving... From receiving the trophy from Dr. J to introducing a rock star, here's Post Malone. No, no, no. I replayed that. Night, you were still going up. You set the bar. And I think you so broke a record. They was chasing you, bro. <laughs> oh, man. I know. So he, the 50s you got, you listen, deserve those. No, no. He got the 50, but I think he did it all in one I don't think anyone else has ever done it in one, a perfect score. <laughs> 6162, sir. Man. You 6162? What do you think? What are you trying to say? What are you trying, trying to say? I was trying to say, you know, we're close to 6-1. I don't know. But <laughs> it, that, really makes it even more amazing. <laughs> you know. Can I get a picture with you guys? Well, look, I mean, I know I'm nobody. Come on, go on that side. Bill would say a rose between two thorns. I, I think, we, I think, oh, okay. And I wish you further luck in your yes. No, de mi teléfono. No teléfono? De mi teléfono. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Hi. Sam? When you know life is changing. I'll take it for you. So we were walking up, she asked the boy for the pic. Ya va, ya va. <laughs> you watched it. You watched the contest. Sí, como quieras. No entiendo inglés, pero solo hablo español. Okay, okay. Speak okay. Spanish. Ella, ella es muy, ella es muy, muy bueno. Sí. 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 Tú anoche. Spectacular. 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 Oh, thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Divino. Oh. Let's take a photo, picture. Sí, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's your? Uh, I'm not as a camera. Mm. I don't know how to work this phone. <laughs> lo siento, lo siento. Okay. There we go, okay. Okay. Oye, muchas gracias. Yeah, gracias.
the craziest thing I heard was like Harry Styles talking. He was like, like you know, what I mean, people like that have so many people like obsessed with him. But he's like, it's not for me. Like little moments where like you know all this like this is this is so much bigger than myself. Like this is not about me. Like when I get all this attention and everybody's like, holy, f you're living that life. Like it doesn't give me any ego or love. Like it's about like my little brother getting decked out of Puma and him getting to experience that and like some old guy being inspired because you know he's had this hard time he's like god like you know just like feeling that connection between me like it's really not about me like it's like i know that sounds so like i don't know like i'm just trying to say that but it's like it's so true like it, and it takes all the pressure off it's like man this is like god like i'm just letting god work you know what I mean? through you yeah it's manifesting you it's just relentless belief oh it's, it's just it's, it's, me. it's like yeah that's me but that's also god too that religious yeah. like i'm like yo i'm supposed to be this and i know it right. like that was god too it's just like yeah. It's crazy just figuring out, like, you know, killing your ego and right. all that, like, it just blesses you even more, man, like. Six a.m., the marathon continues. Y'all don't want this shit like I want this shit, man. Man, this ain't a product of being cut, this is just who I am. I'm gonna find a way, one way or another. God's timing, man. But I'm gonna find, I'm gonna get it one way or another. I'm gonna get it. Believe that. It's just, this was just such an amazing weekend. Like, I'm like, Couldn't I don't think I can capture, like, one day we're gonna look back and be like, what the <laughs> f happened? Like, what the, f what the f Like, <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of crazy weeks in my life. I performed at a bar mitzvah with Travis Scott. Did like, you really? <laughs> for, you got paid $2,000. I've gotten you guys drafted and been in the green room. Is it nothing compares to this weekend? This was the craziest this was weekend. Probably the best weekend. Ever. Craziest weekend. I, it's surreal. Nothing I've ever. I've experienced some crazy. <laughs> nothing's like this. Yeah, it's, and it's funny because so many of the smart agents, this big time agents, like, like they would never take the chance on me. But like a person like Dan, like just so creative and like willing and open minded, like bro, he wanted me. Like even after like I chose another agent, he still wanted me. And he. Bro, like they believe in us. Dan his he flowers. Well, no, it's obvious because, flowers. like you said, it's like it's trust in God. It's like when you go to a different agents, it's like, all right, well, if that and our paths aren't supposed to cross, like you don't force it. Like right. God yeah. wants that to happen, and like I'm gonna be all right. Like we're all gonna be all right. Like if, once you trust the universe and you trust that the, the flow of things, everything comes becomes a lot easier. Like people say, like, oh, I trust the universe, but really, you're banging your head against the wall. Like, oh, I trust it, but you're. And stress, but when you actually, and it's a hard thing to do, you actually learn to trust it, it starts getting easy. Yeah. It starts to flow. So for me, it's just like, it, this weekend was the craziest professional weekend I've had, but it also hasn't been hard. It hasn't been stressful. It's feel like it's been really smooth. Like nothing really went wrong. Yeah. It's just, you just trust the flow and you go with it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, it's not easy to be my agent. Like I'm a lot, like I am so much like, from the outside in, when you're like this G League player who's like, thinks he's gonna become this and that and he's always asking for this and that and like Dan put up with my shit, but he like, he was with me bro. It was not like ever any restraint. Like it was like, yeah, we're gonna do this. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, I don't know, just, you just took a big, like, I don't know if the word's chance, but just like your belief in me is, I bet so confusing to so many of the other guys. And it's just like, and I'm a lot, it's like, it's a lot, like it's high risk, high reward, but like I always knew and I told you that, but it's like. But there, there's something about you that's polarizing. You are, you represent something to everybody where it's like either people see themselves in you and these old men are right. like, I, you brought me to tears or people project the villain on you and you're neither of those things, right. you're just you. Yeah. And, and it's one of those things where it's like you can plan, there's a great quote that say, you tell God your plans and he laughs. Yeah. Right, because I could have when I left beyond with this and I've been like, like I set like out that. a plan, but the plan never could have been, Max gonna enter the dunk contest and win. Yeah, that's right. a <laughs> like you can't plan for that, right? right. But you, but if you take that leap and you trust trust your heart and trust and you have that faith and you really you jump without the net, then it becomes better than anything you could have planned for. Yeah.